Well, I am mustard, aren't I, there? That, that is the correct relationship. Guys, you've heard it here. Whenever it happens when Shindy and I have kids, Indy's going to be a mustard. No, no, no. Because no, he's no. just said he likes being a mustard. And you've heard no, no, it no. now. No, 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 You need to pause yourself right now. Okay, pause yourself right now. Hold up. Hold up. Karen, I will boot you out of this flipping conversation and I will have my entire point trigger, to myself. Trigger. Oh, shit. Okay. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Number trigger, one. Trigger. Number one. Okay. People point. Welcome to this week's episode of the Indie and Doctor podcast. Apparently, I'm dressed inappropriately and I look like a bit of an idiot. And Garon wants to say something. Garon, what do you what do you want to say? What do you want to say? When you go to Italy and you go to the Venice and you want to go out on the water because you're feeling romantic and you want to take a gondola ride, who are you gonna think of? You're gonna think of Indavira. Indavira. He's over looking like a gondola driver. Just needs a hat, eh? A grazie. Thank you. Prego. Thank you. I feel like I look like a painter, artist painter. I quite like this t-shirt. I don't wear it enough. Yeah. If you had a berry, slanted, a brush, yeah. do the finger thing. Yes. Hanji. Hanji, Hanji. Hanji. That's it. Ethe painting hogi. Aj pangra bana. Aj me podcast kar. You got to say like that, those three words, you know? Why do I have to say it like I don't that? Know. It's just like that. Ethe pangra. Everything is said with such power. Hi. Like you you're look looking away, into look a away. camera in third yeah. person, <laughs> as if you're on the office looking away like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 exactly like that. So We've yeah. all had those moments, haven't we? We've all had those moments. So, Didi Ganda. So, Mr. Venetian, what is... Just quickly, yeah? You know that song? Brown Monday. Yeah. Right, so he's playing at uh, my cousin's wedding. Oh, by the way, my cousin's getting married, right? So he was playing. But the thing is, I know I say it in confessions. And so I'm so conditioned to it now that it came on and I was like, Confessions, Brown Monday. Confessions, Brown Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, No, I was like, No, I can't hear the song anymore. I was like, Confessions. <laughs> so, so, anyway, uh, confessions of. Confessions. Confessions of, of married Monday. AKA, no, I'm starting this week. Go. Cool. Because Karen's been a busy Munda. I'm going to go first. Yeah. So, what I'm going to say is Sanj is the best troll in the world. My wife is the best troll in the world. Oh, okay. 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 We bought an air fryer. Oh. Because I've been Hello. dying to get one for months. And Hello. Sanj Hello. finally succumbed and got one. Work were giving vouchers out for John Lewis. They gave right. her a voucher. She thought, I'm going to put it towards the air fryer. Great. Good investment. Why are you looking yeah. like that for? You're looking shocked. No, 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 I agree. That's that's good. So you've done your research. I know you're a research man. You would have checked all the reviews and all yeah, the man, happy. things. Yeah, man, happy. It's 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 a ninja one, the one that everyone's oh. got. You know, ninja. We know that brand. So there you go. There yeah. we go. That's there it. Go. That's it. So comes okay. through, comes into the house. I open it up yesterday. Get it all ready. It's all good to go. Oh. And Sanj puts on Instagram yesterday evening. Indy and I would like to welcome the newest addition to our family. Unlike a first Insta story, and the second story was the picture of the air fryer. And wow. the amount of people that lost their shit was uh, was unbelievable. A lot of them said, oh my God, my heart skipped a beat. Oh my God, I thought you were pregnant. Where have you been hiding this kid? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And she found it the funniest thing in the world. I found it hilarious too, to be fair. I said, wow, you right. even got me, you know. You made me think that, that <laughs> something sure, yeah. happened. Like what? What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> You're like, how, how did this happen? I spent all yes. my time podcasting. How is this miracle yes. happening? Yes, yes, yes. You tell me. You tell me. Eh? You tell me. <laughs> so yeah, she is a fantastic troll, and she should be a troll in her spare time. I keep telling her she should be a content creator, but she doesn't yes. want to do it. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I'm telling you, man. Sand with a Twitter account. Bloody hell, she would take people down, man. I'm telling you. She's literally yeah. like, and she'd be so good in like a, a word, and then like an emoji, and it would just be like a thousand words. Like she'd she'd be able to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's, because if you know her and it's said with like, you know, when Sanji gives the venom, you're like, yo, scared. Scared, man. This girl grew up the in London, fierce, man. She's not like Indy, man. Not from, you know, where we're from. What do you mean, not like me? I'm not like where we're one. from. Bro, you eat, you crisps, man. You hide crisp packets in the sofa. That's not gangster shit, man. What's wrong with that? No, what's no, wrong nothing that? wrong with that. I'm just saying with Paul Lee and Aziz, but she's like, you know what's gangster, gangster shit, Garrett? No one caught Bro. me for 15 years. That's, That's gangster shit. Gangster shit, man. C, son of CSK, baby. 
That's it. See, I that's... hid it in plain sight. No one oh, even knew it was there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See? That's right. Because you got those little small hands in it, small hands in it. That's it. That's <laughs> it, you know? Get those crevices. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. For people who don't know, what is the benefit of an air fryer? Please. What's that? Oh, you my tell days. Us? Benefits are endless. So, Sorry, what I'm going to do three. is I'm top looking three. at... Well, number one, you can reheat food and it actually tastes like the food when it was first made. That's the first thing. Number so, two. Oh, so, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, rather than you sure. the microwave, you're saying you'd put it in there. That's that's an example of how you'd not use a microwave. Yes. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yes. Thank you for hitting the microphone as well. Oh, yes, so, yes. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I got So, okay. put it in there. You reheat it. It's done in two minutes. Perfect. And it tastes like it's just been made fresh. Okay. First thing. Good, good. Yeah. Second thing, uh. if you get food that's already been cooked for you, so let's say you get like a Mackey's and it's gone a bit cold. Right. You, know, you put it in the microwave, it comes out a little bit like, oh, uh, it's a bit like wet. It doesn't really taste yeah, the same. Yeah, soggy. Yeah, yeah. Soggy or yonder, say it. Exactly. Soggy. Soggy. Soggy, soggy or yonder. Yeah. When Slubber. you put it in the air fryer, you can oh. spray it with a bit of oil. Right. Yeah. Close the air fryer. It comes back out. It tastes better than the chips you get at Mackey's because you've already, you've technically fried it again, haven't you? With just a little bit of oil on top. Now it tastes better than it ever did. All right. So, so it's enhancing so the pause that food. So you know the actual term air fryer. So it's doing the frying, yes. but obviously frying. When we think about frying, we think that's a bad thing. It's an underhealthy thing. Yes, correct. Yes, but that's frying in theory, isn't it? Yes. Right. But this doesn't use that, and that's why it's healthier. It doesn't use anything. It's just hava. air. Hava. That's it. It's hava. But people use a little bit of oil because they want to have their extra zest on top to utilize the technology properly. Got it. Okay. So we've got taste healthier. One more benefit, yeah. Mister Salesman. My other benefit would be energy usage. Okay, so it's efficient. Because if you were to say you do an oven, so uh, sort, you're heating up a pretty big facility, high electricity bill, sometimes gas. Uh -huh. If it's the air fryer, it doesn't use too much up. I mean, I'm guessing here, it's just a normal appliance that plugs into a wall. So I would guessing? assume the voltage and the amount that goes through it indeed, isn't as much. Indeed. Could be proven wrong. Well, don't come to the podcast without saying. facts, bro. Like, you can't be... Hey, that. you put me either, on the spot. Either you own it, right? And you say, Adana, Adana, right? Well, you just don't mention it. Darren, I missed the caveat. This is what I do. I missed the caveat. It's what I do. Love it, yeah. love it, love it, love it. I'm telling That's you, man, you've got to get an air fryer. We I'm have so excited to use it. I'm excited to put, like, chicken in it and make it quickly. I've we seen so many recipes on Instagram. All of them say, oh. yeah, yeah, just put it in the air fryer. And then I'm like, oh, fuck this recipe. One, can't do it. One. Next. And Next, he's like, can't do haven't it. Haven't got an air fryer. I'll just put it in the kettle. Who the fuck says that? No, no, I'm just, I was messing with you, man. But that'd be funny, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. That'd air be dumb fryer as hell. Kettle chpata. Sometimes you can put it in the oven, but it just doesn't yeah. come out the same. It, it yeah, doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's it. We have, we you have. You also an air get fryer. to lower. You get to lower your washing usage as well because you just have okay. to clean the air fryer compartment. I see. You don't have to scrub down a whole oven. You don't have to. Scrub down pans or anything, the metal pans. Stop looking at Shindy, man. It's fine. She's in the room. It's okay. Let it be. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. You call me out, it's okay. man. She said, my beautiful wife what is What do you mean here. I caught you out? You and your wandering call eyes. Where else are you looking at? Eyes up here, mate. I'm over here. My, she's, my she's face very, is here. She's very beautiful, yeah? man. You're, you're attractive, man. Okay. I'll give you that. You look like a Venetian bordala today. Yeah, Just but that's your type, tall. isn't it? Come on, man. Venetian bande. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my type, man. Venice is very beautiful. Percent, man. Oh, ball beautiful. Geek. Yeah, so sorry, we have an air fryer. <laughs> we have an air fryer. We also have an Aga, though. So the Aga does a lot of what you already said. And that's how we do it. There's a this, the fourth compartment of the Aga, the bottom left, is the warming. So you just leave stuff in that. And yeah. like, exactly, I could be a calm te, kind of te, come back after an hour, eat the car, no issue. Tastes good. Yeah. Are you good? You're just I'm looking, good. looking up Shindy? at Shindy. You okay? This is about to say something. You can speak? You can go on mute if you want. Go on mute. I will carry yeah. the podcast. Like okay, I always one, do. Second, on. one second, one second. I will go on mute and I will carry the podcast because you, you know do, you do that, buddy. Garen's always busy. He ain't got time for me sometimes, but it's okay. He's not mumbling away to his wife in the background. I'm gonna continue, man. Air fry benefits are massive. You know, I'm like a salesman here. Welcome to QVC. This is my channel. They said the Indian Dutch channel. This is not QVC, baby. This is what it is. Oh, is he coming back? I think he's returning. Return of the King? Is he back? Has he yeah, returned? Yeah. Oh, the King, yeah. I like the sounds of that. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. everything okay? Are you in trouble? No, all good. I was just a polite thing. He said, we are about to start film the new Adam Sandler, Rachel, you know, not Rachel, Anna Jennifer Aniston film. 
Murder Mr. Jelly. Yeah. So, uh, would you like us to wait? I said, no, no, please start. Please start. Individ is going to want to talk yet, so... Like, I want to talk. You want to talk to him, relax. It's all right, okay, but I'm going to blame him. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Rahul, Rahul, I'm... Ki? That clip, man, from the Bainz podcast. Shout out to Amrit, man. That clip, man. Bro, that guy... That okay, killed me. Okay, the Bainz Zee podcast. That Amrit killed Sani, me. Oh. 100% should be... A cross-dresser. Or oh, what people used to, used to call Rahul, cross-dresser. Rahul, like Rahul right? man. But I think he plays the role of, so a, of well. a lady so well. So well. If you closed your eyes and listened, you would think it was a woman talking. Honestly, he's so you good. You know what's funny about that clip? Because I messaged him. I was like, that clip is like, it's just brilliant, right? And then he's like, no, no, I'm butchering the Hindi. And I was like, no, the Hindi is really good. But it's really funny is that you should, at some point, you just drop in a Punjabi. Yeah. Ma, ma Rahul <laughs> <laughs> but then he goes back and then he goes back and it's just so good oh god it can't but be too clean in it you have to have it a little bit yeah, edgy yeah. and a little bit wrong just to make it funny yeah karma kind of, kind of man he, but like he was creasing up man but Chara he's there like <laughs> sipping his chow like <laughs> Chara, like, I'm surprised the Chara didn't come on the mic man it was so funny he was it's clearly unscripted he was he was dead man it was such a funny shout out to the Ben Senior podcast man yeah, top guys, it's, top it's guys. coming soon, guys. The collab, yeah, we're going to be doing it soon. Yes, it London will. Ends. We're going to have the radioactive green mixed grill sauce maybe uh, on the table as well. So it's all coming. It's all coming. Just a completely banduk machete, I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Mr. Right. IBS is going to be there. Mr. Lactose and Thomas is going to be there. Mr. Done. Rahul's going to be there. That's it. Over. Over, baby. It's over. That's it. All right. Second confession. Thus. Um, have you ever just checked up on a kid that's sleeping in the middle of the night and just looked at the positions that they assume? How old? Because I feel like four year old. Yeah, four five. Old. No, is he five, four, five? I think he's five. No, he's five. He's five. Right. What? What you are you to the, the child? Bed. What's your sister? Uh, it's Sanjay's nephew. So I'm his master. Master. Oh, so you like being a master? Well, I am master, aren't I? There. No, that's that fine, is guys. a great relationship. Guys, you've heard it here. When. However, it happens when Shindy and I have kids. Yeah. Hindi's going to be a massive. He's not a tata. He's a massive. No, no, no. Because no, he's no. just said he likes being a massive. And you've no, heard no, it no. now. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to pause yourself right now. Pause yourself right now. Hold up. Hold up. I will boot you out of this flipping conversation and I will have my entire point trigger, to myself. Trigger. Oh, shit. Okay. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Number trigger. one. Trigger. Number the one. Good okay. <laughs> Number one. All right. Sanj's affiliation to that child is actually mussy. There is no dispute in that. It yeah, is I agree. straight mussy. I agree. So okay. you, therefore, are muscle. So you like being right. muscle. That's cool. what I'm saying. However, right. when you have a child, right. I am going to be right. the cha-cha. Why? And she is going to be right. the cha-chi. Because you were my fucking friend first. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're not this... doing this. You were my friend first. You say, oh, people don't like Jatia. Ja, ja, How many Jatia and Jatia you got? Not... Yeah, fucking way too many, right? Exactly. Go no, on, bait them out and say you don't like them now. Go on, huh? Wollo. All the subscribers and listeners you met on the weekend. Oh. Go on, tell them. Go on. Look, look, all I'm saying is, right? Masi was Jatia. That's all What's I'm saying, right? It? No, Why don't can't we break it? stereotypes up in here? <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the generations of pain have to stop with someone. There is just something about Nanake, man. The Nanake, I just appeared in Dadake. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You need to be careful, mate, because your family will come after you. They listen to this podcast. Yeah, they Mine do. don't. Yeah. Some are right. Yeah, 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 but yeah. yours do. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, but some of the family are Nanake, so it's a Tika. Um, but yeah. So, uh, sorry, going back to Masuji, <laughs> was checking on the five year old. Right. I was checking on. to see if he's sleeping okay. Right. When he got into bed, he was in the corner. And right. when I got back in to check him, he was like in a disco position. When I got back to check him again, he'd done a 90 degree turn uh-huh. in the bed, no pillow, snuggled up in the blanket, just on the side chilling. Right. Another time he flipped upside down and he was had his feet up by the pillows with his hands behind his head sleeping. I just thought, this is impressive. He's doing mad acrobats in his sleep. And not waking up. No. And I just Go think in. kids are steering wheels when they sleep. It's actually mad. Kids are steering wheels. What an allergy. There you go. Yeah, it's just turning all the time, all the time, non-stop. How many times did you check then? You checked quite a few times. About three, four times, yeah. Three, four times, just to make sure he was okay. Is that standard procedure? Yeah. 
No, I just felt like, you know, it's the right thing to do because he was nervous staying here because it's right. his first time he stayed here without, like, his, his mum or his, his brother. Oh, so okay. I was oh, like, oh, okay, enough. I just want to see he's okay. Like, just, you know, Fair check. play. That's so, all. It's not like creepy muscle. You sleep to me? You, you just Sitting keep opening there, the doors. Him. What? 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 Hello. What? what hello. What? what? You want to play? I play basketball. Come on. <laughs> You're weird, bro. No, no, no. I've got this game where we, we have to cook at station. Come on, let's go and play. <laughs> what was the game called? You think I was going to try and teach him overcooked? That poor kid, man. No, no chance. <laughs> right. Imagine if you taught a kid overcooked. That would cause God, problems. Yeah, but no, but you teaching would be like you shouting. Like you'd, you'd just, you'd scar the kids for life. Well, I don't think I would. I no, think I'm I think a good teacher. Would. No, I think you're a good teacher, but when it comes to that game, you just lose control. <laughs> You take it. Mate, everyone you, loses control. Yeah, you the take respons- You take responsibility very seriously. That yes, that stuff has to be chopped and plated, and you know, like you, yes. you, you. Overcooked is an essential game. You know what, people? Yeah, right. If you ever want to try couples counselling, hundred sack it. Right. Just do overcooked, and you will Hundy. notice how abrasive you get to each other and how mean you can really be. Then you'll understand the bits you need to work on as a couple. I'm giving uh, you free you therapy know, that, here. That's a good point. Okay. So yeah, even before you have a problem. If you want to know where the cracks are, what's under the surface, there you surface, go. You play, play the game, and it'll all come out. Oh, it'll all bloody, come out. That's can't it. you even do this? Don't bloody. Why can't you listen? Do what I say. You cut the food. The gadget. I cut the cook gadget. The food. Right. It's that simple. That is Stop messing that simple. with the system. See Stop the word? messing with the system. See the see the word you used there. What was the word, Indy? System. It's not system. Processes. System. System. Processes. Yeah. System. Processes. Yeah. Processes. Yeah. What's about, bro? You're an, you're an optimizer. See, you're a secret optimizer. You love He's it. He's in a game. You have to optimize. You're against you're against the clock. You game which you can't do. So you life which you can't do. Oh my god, man! This guy. Every game which you can't do. Every every opportunity you get, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just let me just optimize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Here's the word. There's, 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 there's no, there's no, there's there's no there's ambiguity line. here. No ambiguity is about that. We covered this last week. Here's the phrase. Up, you ready? No, you ready? You ready? Hut tweak tweak can't do. Name what's wrong? Tweak tweak. But tweaking, tweak, tweak, turning the screws You're up. You're making tweak, the shark now. I've never heard tweak, tweak. No, oh, shopping, whopping, roti, shorty, tweak, tweak. Roti, shorty. Roti, shorty, can you? Eh? Shopping, whopping, can you? Tweak, tweak. Shopping, whopping. Fashion, tweak. fashion. No, fashion, fashion. Oh, Hindi, Hindi. <laughs> Oi. Sir, Relax, Jung, Sir, Sir, Jung, Sir, Jung, That doesn't work. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No. Sans, Sans, just Sanj works, but yeah. Yes. Yes, that does. does work. That does work. Sanj Sanj is what go. she wants to be known as. <laughs> Mate, every girl he wants to be married to the earthly god yes, of the goat. Bangara Dilzeet. Yes, but no no one more so than your wife. No point top, top percent? Yeah, no no point point one percent. percent, baby. You know, she's actually worried about missing out on her percentage this year in Spotify because she hasn't listened to him enough. She just so for those who don't get it, right. if you knew here, oh. what Sanj did last year was she listened to her Spotify rap, she went through the list, and it tells you, yeah, you're in this percentage of listeners and stuff. For her, she was not the top 0.1% of Diljit Sanj listeners in the world. Damn, Sam. Do you know how obsessed you got to be with him to be able to achieve that number? That's ungodly. It's a lead level, though. Yeah. And she's worried she won't hit the same levels again this year. So what she needs to do is reach out to one of these guys working in India, Pakistan yeah. or Bangladesh, right? Who have these yeah. bots, bots, the right? Farms. Yeah, yeah, right? And just be like, just get me in that top. No, 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 no. That's it. Uh, get me That's me it. Done. That's it. Done. So okay. shit. Pretty good. That's my confessions that I'm going on to you. Okay. So I am going to do... All right. <coughs> so <clears throat> sometimes when I do certain shifts at the hospital, right? So my shift times change. It's mainly during the later shifts. I know that I'm not going to be guaranteed a close parking spot, right? Because yeah. it's just competitive. When I'm starting, it's still in kind of like normal working hours. So let's just say normal, like kind of nine to five hours. So those are taken. It's very rare that somebody in that hour would leave that spot. So then I have to park another further car park, which is okay when it's good weather. 10, 15 minute walk. Gets me good steps in as well. Yeah. So, but even that one is quite full, right? Now, as I've got older, I've got a little bit, well, probably a lot braver. I remember someone who said something to me, which was like, if you're in a traffic jam, 
why don't you use the bus link? I think we've spoken about it. Oh, Cindy. fuck it. Here we go. We've had this conversation before. All right, Grant right. Quarto, calm down. Yeah, we've right, we, have, we, have, we have spoken about it. Right, so I won't go into it. But it's a similar principle, but it's like, okay, it's private land, whatever. So even if it's not like a standard car parking position, can I put, can I put a Desi parking flex, basically? Because I know oh, actually- Oh, just, just, just fake park next to a spot that isn't a spot, but it's actually just Kodla. Yeah, and it's like, no, but a lot, a lot of people are like, no, it's not, it's, there's no lines, not parking within the lines, something's going to happen. It's like, nothing's going to happen, man. I'm coming here, you want me to work. If there's no spots, what do you want me to do? Go home? There was a consultant that actually did that once. He had a clinic. He drove around for half an hour. And he's went home. He said, there are no spots. No one's doing anything about it. Security are just kicking off for no reason. I'll go home then. He's went home. Why like, is security kicking off? You can't park here. In... You can't park here. That's not allowed, is there? But the question back is, why is it not allowed? What's going to happen? Like you just, just stop trying to yeah, but it's not allowed because you might be causing the flow, of breaking oh, up the nee, flow of traffic. Nee, nee. No, no, no. I'm not saying be obstructive. It's like when people say you can't park here and there's like miles of space around. You're like, okay, what's going what's to happen if we park here? Do you know what I mean? Like, play that scenario out. There's a lot of it's people a like that. disabled spot, girl. Well, you no, nee, nee, nee. It wasn't disabled. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what spot is, right? So it's like, so you got the you got the uh, the bay, 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 right? And at the end, it's like that... Um, it's got the yellow hashing, right? Yes. <clears throat> which obviously is like, don't park here. Then behind there, there's a door to a staircase which goes up to the next level of parking, right? So I'm like, I could park here. It's not a problem. Yeah. What I'll do is I just won't go as far back so I'm not obstructing people that actually want to get into the stair, the staircase thing. Uh, so basically, I started doing this, right? And I was like, man, I'm such a G and it's such a G. Then one day, I come in and I notice somebody else is in that spot right this non-official spot but i've been the only one doing it so i'm like okay fair play fair play another player in the game okay we're gonna respect the game so i found something else right but now regularly i, st- I keep seeing the same guddy in the spot that i taught him what to do with so that like, bro you've seen me do it no it's okay like you're gonna get clamped and shit and now i was like this is not on man this is some disrespect right there it just just pissed me off i was like I feel like putting a note on that good D. You know, we get angry drivers and write oh, notes God, on the car. you got to do the note. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be so funny. I was like, this is from the car that taught you where to park. Who <laughs> gives you the right to park in my spot? Pull your own desi parking flag somewhere else. Bro, me and Sanj, we oh. went to view a house once and there yeah. was only like permit parking around there. And we oh, thought, look, yeah. this is risk it for half London, an hour. London, yeah. baby. Oh, God. Risk it for half an hour. Uh, put the car there. Got yeah. back. And there's a woman who was in her car and she was writing away on like a note and she was about to like get out and put it put it on the, on the windshield of mine underneath the wiper under the and SLR I put up next to her I walk up next to her and I say hi and she's like oh oh hi sorry I was just writing you a note and she starts scrunching it up and put it on the floor yeah you can't park here without a permit I said yes I know but there was nowhere to park and it's a Saturday morning there's no wardens around but mm. I just had to do this she said yeah well you're kind of in my spot, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'll let you off. And then she drove off and I thought, you're letting me off. Okay. Didn't know you own the fucking place or the parking spot. But she drove Adding off. Adding to that, I wonder what it said on that note. I wonder yeah. what it said on yeah, that yeah, note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear Mr. Pope Mobile, Bibby Mobile, and not SLR, B-Class That's Mercedes. It. Sorted. Clearly, you couldn't get a real Mercedes, an E-Class you must not be Punjabi. She was in an A class, but yeah, it's fine. It's A-class fine. I'm nice. not judging her or anything. A class is nice. The new A class. The old A class is shit, man. Bro, I don't, I don't know what, what. I didn't look at the registration plate and look at the year and say, ha ha, I am going to D. I didn't say that. I just thought, okay, it's a car. Fine. Yeah. It was A class. No, we're not disputing that. But I'm saying A class is better than B class. Do you agree? Uh, the new A class, not the old, not the old one. The old A class looks like a smaller version of the B class, the BB Mobile. That kind of smart car feel, you know, that kind of what you would be type of look. But it the way they rebranded it, it now, okay. the, the, the A-Class now kind of looks a bit like the Audi A3. It's kind of got that sleek kind of, you know, feel, a cool kind of vibe in it. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's, let's go with that. All right, anyway, SLR, man. Huh. So, you were good, sir. Oh, man. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's fine. I, it, it motivated me, right? Here's, here's the feedback. Here's the reflection. It motivated me to find even more desi parking place it motivated me to make friends with the security guys uh, and I was like I was like uh, Andy that's the guy's name I was like Andy uh, what if I park here he's like yeah don't worry Jazz 
Kala. I was like, by the way, Andy is, doesn't speak Punjabi, but I just made him speak yeah, Punjabi. Yeah, yeah. You were like, <laughs> oh, Jess, I'll never desi up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, so he gave me even like, you know, like the next level up or the kind of desi parking spots at security normally parking. So Achha. thank you, Mr. Taking my spot because you motivated me to get even better spots that I wouldn't have looked for. Yeah, but now he's going to be looking at you like, oh, he's closest to the front door. Yeah, but Ooh, how's okay, he going to get that? He hasn't that got one. the connect. He hasn't got the connect, has he? He hasn't got the connect. That's right. That's right, mate. Andy. That's right. I've never seen someone get so upset over a parking, parking space. Then, yeah. And it just switched to ball competitive, eh? Yeah, clearly. But yeah, buddy. Tiga? Bus? Bus? More confessions? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, yeah. Do you feel happy? Do you I feel f- more I f- open I after feel, that? I feel. What's, what do they say in therapy? I feel hurt, Indy. You feel hurt? I feel hurt. <laughs> 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 mera, mera dil, mera dil hona, hona ho gaya. You like that one? That's it. Like it's Everything is light now. Nickel, That's nickel, it. Nickel, 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 Give me one sec. Oh, Kungi done that, bro. Needed to cough. Sorry. Right. Uh, I put out a poll to our, to our followers for last week. You're going to say to and our lovers them. then? I put a poll out to our You sound like listeners. You went, Technically, lo- they are lovers. Love, 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 right. love, 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 They're loving us. They're loving us, bro. They're loving us. Okay. Right. So, what we've got uh, is I said to them, ask us a question. And they just asked us here, there, and everywhere a bunch of questions. So, Goran, the first question that I said I will not answer and I want to answer on this right. is, is, what's the best Indian dessert? I hope horse or shiny coffin <coughs> in the excitement. Thank you. Thank you. Best Indian dessert. Okay, okay. I need to have, a, tough I need, one, I need to, I need to have a couple in there and then I need to narrow it down. So for me, top right. ones, don't come so in. Someone said to me, <coughs> yeah. gulab jamun. Not in there for me. No, not top really? three. Really? No. So top three for me. Kheer is in the Ras, Ras Malai slash Ras Gulle. Ras the, Malai is a very good one. So those two. The third one. And dessert. Indian dessert, yeah? What's that gajar one? Gajar ka halwa. Well, ice cream. That is good. I like that. that is it good. tastes very good. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go really left I, here. It's kind I of, don't know that. You only really... Oh, I like such a player. Yeah, I was going to say. Was that yeah, yours or mine? Yours, man. Was it? Yeah. Well, bitch. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Samia. Those are my top three. Samia? No, that's not dessert. That's a, that's a I feel ill, mummy, make no, me some, some porridge. No, I don't know, bro. That's kitchery. Samia, I only have at the Godora. No, Godora I have Samia there, man, on that day. It's banging. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, ill. Oh, when it hits the back of your throat. It's warm on it, yeah. Keir. Key definitely Rasmalai slash Rasgulle. Why is it called Rasgulle? I've never heard that. Is it Rasmalai? No, man? it's two different things. Rasmalai is when you have the the white liquid, the tari, as it were, the milk, right? Rasgulle yes. is basically when you have no tari. It's just the the pieces. Uh, There's a slight difference. It depends on tari or tariless. Got it. She got it, man. Right? You need to give me some more ideas here. So, can make, so gulab jamun's out there. There's obviously barfi. There's gar- gajar ka halwa. Yeah, not a kulfi fan, man. You really... Really? Yeah, fruda. You like fruda? Okay, yeah. Fruda is like... What is it, man? She knew that. It's like, it's like ice cream with kulfi. I can't... I can't you know what? Just Google it. I really can't uh, think you about that. That's really helpful, guys. Yeah. Just, just Google it, man. Yeah. Google it. Shindy loves it. Um, I remember they, they tried to give me someone's over and I was like, I'm not having this like many kind of. Um, what about Lassi? Lassi's not a dessert, it's a drink. Yeah, it's no, kind of like a dessert ish drink. Don't, don't. Kind of like a milkshake. Yeah, but okay, do you have milkshakes for dessert? No, you have it with your main meal? Yeah, of course you do. No, don't be silly, bro. When you go to McDonald's, you don't have the thing at the end, do you? Have it with the, the burger and the fries? I mean, no, I tend to have the milkshake at the end. You're just a weird, you're weird, weird, weird. But no, yeah, so let's just not get that confused, right? Arm bandit, arm bandit, you can't do Arm, normal people. Arm means normal. Not arm. Oh, I thought you said this. <laughs> ba. 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 Uh, banane. Tere banane, but it's, yeah. tere banane, but it's chote, isn't it? 
Uh, okay, what, what are yours? Bro, I just had the Godzilla one. That's it. I had such a flashback. Ice I was cream, really no ice cream. That. Of course I have ice cream. What kind of question is All that? Right, which flavor ice cream with the Godzilla Hanma? Oh, it goes with it. Oh, shit. No, not ice no, cream. I just have it on no, bro, you gotta have ice cream, man. Vanilla ice cream, fair to Well, it's gotta be vanilla then, isn't it? Like, <laughs> the you don't get mixing other things in there. Okay. You can't do like a flipping cookies and cream with it. No, no, no. no. That's not, that's not going to the top now. that. You know, you have to do a peanut butter cup with it from Ben and Jerry's. No, no, no. No. All right, cool. You got Gajar Kahal one then. What else? Give me another one. Uh, I do love a bit of wedding cake. Regardless, any wedding, any cake, this give is it true. to me. This is true. Any cake. Make me feel like it's up in vindicated you have the for wedding this cake, event. And then you serve it with the masala chai. The masala oh, chai. Oh, with some jar as well. Yeah, bang no, no. Them. masala chai. Why do they call it chai and not jar? I don't, chai. I don't understand. It's, it's, it's classy. Chai. Why do we say chai and not jar? We do say chai. Why do we say chai though and stuff like that? We don't. Not it's not Punjabi. Punjabi is jar and chai is Hindi. So why are you saying chai right now? Are you trying to show? No, chai wale. I was just thinking of that was in my head. I know you went to chai wale, but I'm thinking of chai wale. Nah. Masala chai. Chai. It's got to be chai, man. Masala chai. On, man. You got to say it like that. <sighs> okay, mate. Okay. You know Masala that one, You know my goodness gracious me? Garam chai. Sab? That's good? Yeah, like that station. <laughs> Garam chai. Sab? You want biscuit? <laughs> oh, God. I haven't seen that show in a while, you know. I might need to run it back. It's that, been a very yeah, long time. That that we could that we could watch together. That'd be good. Um, right. Next question. Then I think cool. we've wrapped that one up. Mind you. So for me, okay. final answer. But us, Malai. Yes. So I was going to say spirit animals, but you said you were flipping Babrashir like a typical desi jat banda. Shera di kaam Punjabi. Such a typical guy, honestly. No ambiguity, nothing like, yep, shed, yep, lion, yep, wolf, that's it, that's me. Do you know why I said wolf? If you, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. If you got a tattoo, would you get a lion and a wolf as well? No, I don't think so. It wouldn't be an animal, I don't think. If I got a tattoo, I think it'd be a quote or a symbol. Um, why, why, what do you, you know when I say wolf, do you know why I say wolf? Why? What do you think, what do you associate with a wolf? I think it's a, I think it's a close thing to a um, it's a close thing to a lion. That's not a good answer. Okay, then what do you associate with a lion? Then so what what is the characteristic I'm trying to associate with? It's more so with the wolf than a lion. But... <sighs> I feel like the wolf is okay. Oh no, that's the wrong quote. I'm thinking lions don't care about the opinions of sheep. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think you like the lion as well. That's another layer to it. That is when it comes true. to the wolf, I think <clears throat> I don't know. Predators able to handle many different difficult circumstances in the extreme colds. Oh. They work in packs. Very evasive, That's very difficult one. to get a hold of. Very intelligent animals. Yeah. There's, yeah, that all of those things, one, they're all really good answers. And there's a thing about, there's a thing that gets taught in like kind of leadership seminars where they have this pack of wolves, right? And they show how there's wolves that are at the front of the pack, the wolves in the middle of the pack, and the wolves at the back of the pack. And actually, this is a little side teaching point. We were on a family walk with Shindi side of the family. So I had my two nieces. So I am Masar in this scenario, Hindi. Right? So me as Masarji was with my niece, Rhea. Right. And Rhea's gone through this phase where she, she wants to be like number one at the front of all the group. <coughs> yeah. And I was trying to teach her. I was trying to teach her the value of actually being at the back. And I gave this analogy about the wolf. I said, look, when you when you have a position of responsibility and you're responsible for your pack, right, as the leader then you must make sure that the some of the strong ones are at the front. They're doing the what we call the recce, right? They're scattered. You protect the weak in the middle. I'm, and I wasn't saying we'll see the family who is in the family's weak. Uh, I was just trying to give an analogy. I said, but you know, if you're at the back, you're responsible for everybody. And that is the sign of a true leader. I was trying to teach about leadership, basically. Um, so why yeah. are you responsible for everybody at the back? Because you can see everybody. Yeah, but if someone's getting attacked way in front of you, how are you going to help them? You go forward. But it's too late by that point. No, it might not be. It might not be too late. Person at the if you're at the front, you can't see anything. In the middle, you have to protect the weak, and the back is the back. That's why they say, you know, like in uh, you know Navy SEAL teams, the person who covers the six. That's a very important position. Six o'clock. Yeah. So the wolf. 
there's lots of things to do with wolves, but yeah, everything you said there about impacts and versatility, all great things. And yeah, th those are things I, I pride myself on. So yeah, that's what I'd say in those things. So, Mr. Kurgosh. Well, you said that. I said Kurgosh because I was trying to be, you know, funny. I don't really have this an This is animal. a funny podcast, okay? It's a very serious podcast. It's clearly not. It's bro. not, bro. Yeah. It's not. It's not, bro. It's not. It's just It's just not. a girl. Okay. It's Salah. It's just a girl. Salah. Okay, it's not. Uh, okay. Well, what are the challenges of podcasting, bro? Uh, I read all yours. Oh, shit, man. India does a lot of work, man. I was like, India has to deal with all this yeah. shit. <laughs> I li literally, I saw your answer and I was like, but man. I was like, are they, they life you're talking to uh, just remind people what you said. I can't remember oh, that. You, you said there's uh, a consistency, a burnout, and you, you put a couple of things in there. Um, let me let me actually find that. Go on. You oh, ask me the question. Ask me the question again. The What's the? What are the challenges of podcasting? Okay, so I guess for me, it's I'm always thinking about is I used to think about is content funny, right? But now I've got to the point where I think. And that, this is because we discuss this a lot about what's great about being a comedian or what great comedians do well. And it's not necessarily the content itself, it's the delivery and the execution <laughs> and having rapport with your co-host and rapport with the audience, right? And now that we get a lot of feedback, let's say people commenting, reaching out and all that kind of stuff, it's actually nice. And we know that we're hitting a you know a stride and a vibe. Um, yeah. So content, you know, what are we actually talking about? Um not looking at the the objective metrics of are you doing well that's hard so when you want to me so if you want to if you ask the question is your podcast successful then you know if we're basing that simply on how many subscribers we have on whichever platform or are we monetizing at the moment then you know we could look at that and be like, yeah. oh, okay yeah we're not doing very well but then if you look at other metrics like oh this got a quarter of a million views and this got shared on here so the mindset of, you know, this is not instant gratification, this is delay gratification, this is, we're building a legacy, you know, that not getting too far ahead and not getting sad about objective results and just kind of... Bro, I should have put money on the fact that you were going to bring in some mindset, going to lie to yeah. this, but yeah, sorry, <laughs> continue. I should have put fucking best on it, man. It's been a while. It's been it a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. I haven't it's been a while. My coaching stuff in a while. Uh... So yeah, I, I'd say it's that. It's just enjoying the process, but we have made the process... There we go, you know, it's the process is again, baby. We've made the process better and slicker. We've expanded the team, so it makes what we do a lot more enjoyable. Uh, and obviously we're vibing a lot more now. Um, so those are my two big things. Is the content good enough and funny enough or engaging enough or entertaining enough, all those types of things? And are we successful? So just kind of detaching yourself from from that, I'd say. Yes, I like that plan. Yeah, those are pretty good answers. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you. My answers were found it here. Number one, consistency. Wow. Number two, traction. Uh, number three, mental uh, energy. Uh, number four, time. And number five, finding a different picture for a Q and A response. That's actually really difficult as well. I'm trying to find a different picture for each answer. Fair enough. So yeah, I said, but at the end, I said, but low key, we love it. There you go. Which is true. Which is true. Yeah, the mental energy side of it is tiring, man. Like, I woke up yesterday and I just thought, I'm battered. Yeah. Like, really Bad tired. Down. Yeah, so tired, man. And I just thought, yo, I kind of wanted to chill for a bit. Right. But then I thought, if you chill, you right. lose, not momentum, but work just builds up. You've got to keep it ah. pushing out. Otherwise, I am the bottleneck, essentially. I can't just sit here and just have a day off. Because the day off, I've got to pay back afterwards. So, yeah. Guys, if you're listening, this isn't. He's not asking for sympathy. He likes what he does, and he has to do what he does. Yeah, I didn't no ask one, for sympathy. No one else I'm just being honest so, with you. I said, "Did you there?" He's not emotionally blackmailing me. I know my role. Okay, I turn up here. I talk shit about him, and that's what he likes. So yeah, yeah. you do talk shit about that's, him. To be fair, you are the brickstick. You very true. don't, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's question? been your favorite episode so far? That that was a good question. Oh, oh, both, both, both. Um. I just think, you know, it's really hard to actually think of episodes that we've done, but hitting 100 obviously has to be there. The wife's coming on and... <laughs> Do you know what's funny about that thing? Literally the first 20 seconds of them speaking. Hi, I am Saj, with the eyes, wife of Indy. And hi, I am Shindy, wife of Doctor. <laughs> it was so awkward in the first, like, 20 seconds. 
Uh, and then hey, then, man, then they, they did better really... than we did on our yeah, first few episodes. Well, so, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's fine. But that, I mean, I, I did like that. Uh... Oh, tell, tell me some episodes, man. Like, I, I'm drawing a blank, man. I got mine, but I don't want you to say me too. Right. I mean, there's an episode we shot at yours, which is really late. We got back and did it. What was that a reaction video? I can't remember. That was a reaction video. That, that was also really fun. I did I did like the concept between that. Mm. Yeah, I'm drawing a black man. Like, it's all good. Okay, go on. mine is go on, go on. the Valentine special. That was by far the best episode that I think we've done. No, I completely, dis- us- I completely disagree. That has been edited Why? in such a way to show me to have this massive, which I don't have, to have these man <laughs> parts I don't have. I look like the most, that bloody roti comment. Oh, look at the fat guy telling the skinny guy that he should eat less <laughs> roti. And I was just like, yo, mate. I was like, no, this is just not on, man. Not yeah, on but all. if you listen to the audio of that, it's probably the funniest episode we've ever done. Just because we were talking about, you know, vulnerable times as teenagers growing up. baby. Exactly. It, but it brought us so many memorable clips and wow. memorable times. And you went away to India afterwards. So what was that good? It was it was good. Cool. Oh, you just went and got lost. Oh, yeah, you disappeared after. You disappeared. <laughs> yeah, that that was fun. That was that was fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I. I think when I watched the reels, and then I remember a lot more. Okay, like you know, Shindy at the spa, and then the. You oh, know, like one. some some of the sound effects we end up creating, and people recognize that. Shh, shh, shh. Like you know, there there are certain things when people ask. Like I noticed another question about the merchant stuff. I like a tapa has it. I'm thinking we're gonna have like lines. Take the damn goalie. Like you know, there'll be, there'll be certain things that we say in it. Systems and processes. Wait, we need to Mr. Bring back Dr. PC. Doctor PC. Yeah. How could we forget Bali. that man? Shout out to Bully man. Shout out to Bal. Doctor PC yeah. man. That's Doctor Dr. PC Bad to you man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bal's comment on the cards though. He's doing it for the ladies. Uh, for the ladies. Ladies. The ladies. <laughs> oh, shit, man. So, yeah. Okay, so yours is probably more the clips than the actual episodes. Yeah, buddy. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair. <laughs> do you want to make a comment on merch? Do you, do you no, want to do it? No. I was going to wait. No, we'll wait, but I'm just saying, like, there are a couple of one liners, I think, things that will be funny on the top. Oh, there definitely is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and look, when we do that live show, when we come out on stage, like, people are going to know these catchphrases. It's already yes. happening, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. That like, people memorize stuff. It's so weird. This must be right. When I met Just Rain and, like, quoted everything back to him, he's like, whoa, you, like, <laughs> you know the content, man. I was like, yes. I've yeah, watched you, it many times. You fucking live it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, bully, bully. So, yeah. I have one dirty question to ask you. Ben Saini. From Avrit Saini. No, would you like the Rahul. question? Is it from Rahul? Would you like the question? Is it from Rahul? Tell me. It's from Rahul. Rahul would you like the question? Hai. Rahul ne kya pucha hai? You gotta ask in Hindi. Would you rather Say be Hindi. Hindi man? I can't. Oh, fuck that man. No chance. I can't speak Punjabi. How are you gonna ask me to speak Hindi? I don't speak Hindi. Look at that Hindi boy. The fuck man? No oh, chance. Shit, that boy. Would you rather be a one foot small person or a fat BBW that needs to be crane lifted? Ah, uh, yeah, I read this one. Small person, all day. Why? All day, man. Like I've seen bigger bunda that need to be hoisted around right now, man. See, I was going to say the BBW because the Instagram money would pay for the cranes. What Instagram money? From where? Mate, BBW. That, you mean, that means big booty woman. Yeah, but crane, man. Like, who's paying for, oh, you got some weird OnlyFans shit that people like that stuff. No, no, no. Probably. That wasn't that bad. That, I'm at kind of level standard, Rahul standards. That, is, that isn't bad. Tell me your logic then. Hang on, hang on. You'd rather be a one a one foot small person like Edna Shorter. Yeah, that. like just fine, man. I can, I can twelve uh, inches. I understand what you're saying. It's obviously completely hypothetical, but I would adapt, optimize. Smaller process. than a baby. Yeah, buddy. It's not. It's obviously not real, right? But being this more tough person that can, at least I can move around and do what I want, man. You've seen the film Ants and Bugs Life and stuff. You know the horse. I don't think you can walk around and move around. No, 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 no. The going to be too high for you. No, no. But then you'd be in that. You know that film Downsizing, Matt Damon, Ed Dahlga. So you'd have your own community. You wouldn't just be one person like that. Do any more tia hanging out? They're going to be small, but as well in this kind of made of fantasy that Rahul has created. Maybe, maybe we go Good to Lord. Rahul's club in London. Maybe Vahal Jaunge is up. Vahal Jaunge. Maybe. Me or Rahul. Maybe. Huh. Maybe. Well, that wraps that bit, up, that bit up. Thank you for the questions. Oh, wait. One last question. I got actually, one thing. Her. I got one thing to no, say. No, no, hang on, hang on. I, I have one last question. Yeah, I have a question for you. Okay, good. 
Is there any topic that's too touchy that you won't talk about? Uh-huh. I answered this for me and you, but I, I thought I'd ask you again one more time. I guess that the, the, there are obviously things uh, which are super, super personal to Indy and I, which, to be honest, the way I look at it is, it's not, I would never share it, it's just now is not the right time to share it. And I think the, the, for most things, there is a time where, like there are a lot of things that we have discussed and put in our, you know, our content stuff that, this is actually be really super valuable. Um, we don't talk about it as Punjabi people or men or whatever angle we're coming from, but there'll be a time to talk about those things. Uh, that's right. kind of the way, uh, they probably, they probably, look, there probably are some X-rated things that we'd never speak about. But then I don't think you'd mute to speak about those things anyway, like off camera. Do you know what I mean? There are some- no, we do, we do. Let's not try it. Me and you have pretty much spoken about, I think everything there is to talk about. Okay, fine. I mean, there you know, is. two-handed technique when you wee. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty Yeah, that's mad advanced. Yeah. But yeah, so for me, it's more about timing. I, I think there will always be a context to talk about a lot of things. I do like that we introduce things that aren't spoken about. And we get the feedback that, yes, you know, these are real. It doesn't have to be an issue as such. It's just something relatable. We all think about it. We don't talk about it. We are bringing that to the forefront. They're real problems. Yeah, exactly. Well... My answer for those who didn't see Brilliant. was um, I don't want to give an opinion on something that I don't know anything about or I don't know enough about no. because ah. I don't want to have to live and die by an opinion I said yeah. here that yeah. isn't yeah. what I actually think. So we, me and you, will not talk about something that we don't know about. Like loads of people have asked me and you, nah. what's our thoughts on the stuff that's happening in Punjab, etc. And I physically haven't had time to sit there, weigh up all the pros and cons, sit down and look at everything listen to things critically, go through it with a fine tooth comb to have a full formed opinion. I just haven't done it. And I I, I support it. I support what people are doing uh, and what they're talking about uh, and whatever way they want to protest. What they're protesting about, I genuinely don't know enough about that I can say it's right or wrong how it's going. And that's why I'd rather bring on an expert of someone such as Harvey who will come say, up and talk about it. AKA, right? we bring yeah, back yeah, our... It could uh, be. What do you call it? Uh, we could be. Punjabi, we could uh, what do they call it? Correspondent. Uh, a Punjab expert. Correspondent. Yeah. How are you even there? Nojwani.com. That's it. That's, See? that's what we do. So we could do that, but for now, I just feel like, well, I don't know enough about it, so I can't really sit there and comment upon it in depth uh-huh. and give people a full answer that I'm going to be held accountable for. Like if someone asks me about trans rights, I'll say, listen, it's a very nuanced topic. I don't really have a full formed opinion on it, so I can't really give you much beyond the recycling of other opinions. What you want yeah, for. you got you got to be very careful yeah. as a podcaster, just not to. Jordan Peterson says this: ninety eight percent of your opinions aren't your opinions; they're just things you've heard, right? So, you know, I could split stuff from Ben Shapiro. I could do stuff from uh, Piers Morgan about what you just said there about trans rights and yeah. um, identifying as whatever you want to identify as. But again, it wouldn't be my opinion, uh, and for the same reason. So yeah, I agree with Andy. Tell off, that's mine. Then you had a question for me. So, at the uh, cousin's wedding, Sim, coming back to that, we're at the Me Lady Mendy. I was going to say Lady Mendy Singit, but the Lady Singit slash Mendy, right? And I'm catching up <coughs> with one of Sim's cousins. So, shout out to Harveen. Harveen is from Canada. She is a registered nurse. And so, we're talking about healthcare stuff, right? And uh, so, she's like, oh, yeah, 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 you locum, right? And I was like, yeah, 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 I locum. Um, you're not locum as in India. Yeah, it's where you're basically charging a daily rate as a contractor. Yeah, to a basically company. contracting is the other way. I guess contracting is what they say outside of medical land, and we call it locuming, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you know what they call it in Canada? Guess God. Yeah. Guess. Think of another word for contracting or locum. If you're tired of another term. I don't. I don't know any of right? terms. Exactly. I was because I thought contracting was quite a universal term, and I was saying to her, I was like, "Oh, do you contract?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, um, I, I do casual work." And I was like, yeah, exactly right, right. Just pause there. Your face. Tell me, when you hear that, I met casual work on Gardena. What do you think? That sounds a bit dodgy, it isn't sounds it? sounds right, exactly. But I was like, yo, I think they have only OnlyFans that come to Casual relationship, yeah, casual work, that's, right? That's casual work. That's the connotation. Work, yeah. the, it's just, and I was like, are we talking about the same thing? It doesn't have a label on it. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, casual. Yeah. It's casual, right? And I was like, we're not together. We're just casual. Casual relationship, right? I was like, it's such a... Like edgy word, right? I was like, yeah. are you sure this means the same thing? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just call it casual work. And then I filled her in on how that made, how it made me laugh. And, and I was like, can I put that on the podcast? Literally, I was like, can I put that on the podcast? And before she sit, could say yes, I literally pulled out my phone, went on WhatsApp, started recording. I was like, just write it down. I was like, just, just wait, let me record. 
<laughs> Literally, what I do with people, just let me just, I'm going to forget this, right? Um, so yeah, I just thought it was pretty funny. So uh, yeah, shout out to Harind. Casual, casual work. work. Smashing Bro, I can't get nurse. over that. Why is it called casual Badani. work? Badani. Harveen, maybe you want to chime in uh, and tell us why is it called casual Drop work? Drop it in the comments. Is, is yeah. she heard of it before? No, no, no. Okay. She did. You know what's interesting? She goes, I did come across your content, the video about sepsis, one of the ones that didn't even do that well, but she's like, because she's medical, she was like, but that was actually super useful. And I was like, yeah, I was like, the useful stuff I put out, nobody watches. But we make videos about roti and everyone's like, yes, yes. Everyone's like, tell me the right way to make my roti, man. This is a, this is essential information. There you go. There you go, Broski. So, uh, so yeah, buddy. The, That's uh, actually mad. By the way, you know your video on the video I put out about the NHS? I think it's uh, getting a little bit of traction, which is quite nice. Sorry, you broke up there. It's what? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah. The video I put out about the NHS, uh, uh, is the NHS broken and how to fix it? Like a uh, snippet from the, uh, the full uh, episode about, uh, you know, diagnosis of the NHS. Uh, I feel like that that's slowly getting traffic because it's live applicable and on point at the moment, yep. which is interesting because we didn't go into that with that intention. It's just naturally no. clips emerge out of episodes and then you can make it out into another thing. So yeah, very, very... Um, very casual clip Yeah, we did a casual, casual episode and just yeah, casually casual, touched upon that. Only fans don't come card, is it casual come No. Of course not. Oh, Why oh the only my god. Work? Have you seen huh. that little kid? The Clinton kid or the French kid? Okay. I don't know if you've seen this clip right. There's this little kid, he's fifteen years old. He's on some sort of podcast and there's like OnlyFans models here. And uh literally he's like he basically he says something to his only fan models right he's like they cannot even read they are illiterate have you not seen this clip no I will say this clip is so funny right so then she's like what do you mean I can't read like like American accent right and he's like go on then name me three books tell me three books right so that I don't know why it's coming out like an African accent I'm trying to do like a French accent yeah, I don't know why it's coming out with an African yeah, accent yeah. Bro. but it's a French accent right? he's like, tell me three books right so he says that and then, so she so she says, well, I like Game of Thrones. He goes, no, Game of Thrones is not the book. That is the film. What is the book based on? See, she can't read. It's so funny. He's like 50. Oh and they're like, why do you know? You're 15, you're 15 years old. He goes, why did they put me on this stupid thing with these women who can, uh, not women, these, these people who cannot read. It's just so funny. I don't know who this kid is, but I watched it. And I was like, this is hilarious, man. And he's so good. Son. His face is like, he's genuinely like, Tonu Parani on them. They couldn't have said Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. They couldn't have said that. You had three books to pick from in the world. That's and true. You just think, that's well, true. That's true. Very true. Harry indeed. Potter one, two, three. Yeah, but Could then, I? but knowing him, he'd be like, "What are the names? What's the plot?" Like uh, it was so funny though. Like he just called him out, man. Like bow, bow, bow. so. Uh, well, you could just say, you know, James and the Giant Peach. All right, mate. All right, Roldal. All right, mate. Okay. Come on, man. All right, Roldal. All right, the goat. The goat. That's it, man. That's it, baby. All right, next next segment, people. Cool. Next segment. What's happening, Doctor? I've been told to say it like that because people get upset that I don't say, what's happening, people? So I've got to go back to, like, the status quo a little bit and let you troll me again. So there's your grand opening. It wasn't actually that bad. Uh, that was actually quite mature and calculated and you sounded quite nice, actually. Really? You, you sounded less Mike Tyson. Oh, thank you. What do you mean Mike Tyson? What's happening, people? Well, that's it, people. I could, I could, yeah. I could do many, many variations of this. It will continue into the many episodes in the future. Simpsons, All right? The Simpsons. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Done. Hanji. Hanji, get that. You've been a busy bunda. Yes. So we've got a family wedding, a uh, big family wedding. So my real cha-cha, as they say. Do you have that in families? You know, like, yeah, you have real cha-cha, fake dia. I've got fake dia. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The, you don't think that is, though. It's like, they're not fake. And... When you say fake it, I don't know, it's got a really hurtful. Mean, it's a bit like, hurtful yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But so in Punjabi, you'd say it's Mira Saka Cha Cha. Yeah. But Saka, I don't think Saka actually translates to real, but that's the only way in English you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's my actual, or actual, actual Cha Cha. You could say that rather than real, real. But my dad's brother yeah. is um, second daughter of my cousin Sim. She's getting married. So super okay. close family wedding. Uh, so yeah, man, it's been. Living it up, man. You you saw the bunker set we did. I sent that video to you. Is it sukkar cha cha, not sukkar cha cha? What? It's sukkar, yeah, not sukkar. I didn't say sukkar. What does sukkar mean again? Sukkar, I don't know. Sukkar means something. 
dried out. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, yeah dry. Like, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Carry on, carry on. But you know, but the thing is funny is we actually have a Tata in our friend in India whose name is Sukha Tata. So when you <laughs> sent it, I was like, I was like, how do you know him? I was like, oh, okay, yeah, Sukha Tata. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, yeah, super close family wedding, family functions. We did a Pangara set, which I sent to you. You guys yes. did a whole reaction video, which You're was welcome. really funny and awesome. I agree with most of your feedback. Um, I thought when I could, I was on point. Learning point, when you're going to wear a shawl. I actually had two pins in, um, but I need, I need a third pin. The that, that was you were so... doing, that shawl was like a chunni. It was not moving yeah, at all, like yeah. a pin chunni no, in a wedding The thing day. is, I was like, Shins, you know, should I take the shawl off just for the thing? And I put it back on. She's like, no, no, you look really good with the shawl. I was like, Tiga. And some moves are completely fine. But then, yeah, when you got like ham. And the thing is like, you know, we've been doing um, practice, dance practice, as I've been calling it with you. And, you know, like it's not hard choreo. It's like two, three minutes. So I've just been doing walkthroughs. That's probably like the only, maybe this no, you have third or fourth time. No, 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 no. no, no, I have. Stop lying, stop lying. Not, not, not lying Horror. to you. When I came to yours and I dropped off the plug extension, you came downstairs. You answered I the phone. Like, I like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. The reason for that was because I was actually choreing the Rudy segment. That was the only reason I had to do it full. I had to know, yeah, like, sure. can, can we actually do this or not? But sure. uh, yeah, so then, but on the day, you got the pump in it, like, and everyone's there, everyone's watching. Oh my God, shout out to my tacha at this point, man. He came up to me. So, the, <laughs> so this is not my real tacha, but <laughs> my tacha. So shout out to Bobby Tacha, who is an avid listener of the podcast, Indy. He literally will come up to me and quote things from the podcast, things that I have forgotten. Right, so he came up to me at this at the jungle party. He went shh, 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 and I was like, "Yo, what are you doing, man?" And he's like, "Bump, <laughs> bump, bump," and I was like, "Oh, I was like, yeah, shh, 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 shh." And I was like, "Yo, was like, you know, he know, he knows it verbatim, man." Uh, and then at the end of the party, he came up to me. He was like, <sighs> "He's like, I don't, oh I don't do that." God. You know, no, he's like, he's like, "I don't do that. I don't do that." So shout to Bobby Tatum, man, love, man. <laughs> um, yeah. So on that theme. Uh, I get to the party and I'm meeting more Tati, right? So it's actually loads of Tati I'm meeting. And is your know, dad the eldest? Is that it? My, is, my is dad is everyone eldest. a Tati? Yeah, yeah everyone. Is, he's tied out to everyone. So yeah, everyone's kind of a Tati, essentially. And I'm meeting everyone. I'm like, oh, you know, it's so good that we have these parties because we don't see each other anymore, like, unless we have Bart's or whatever, whatever. And they're like, no, no, we feel like we see you all the time because, you know, you're on the podcast. And I'm like, wow, you guys know about the podcast. They're like, yeah, yeah, we we see it. Like, uh, our kids show it to us. Um, I was really flattered, man. I was like, you've got, that's at least two generations, man, who are looking at the podcast. They know it well enough that they, they know things, they can quote things. Like, oh, yeah, you did that segment on this, you did that segment on that. And I'm like, yes, we did. I don't remember, but you do. <laughs> um, so that was nice. Uh, also, last week, I was in hospital, and... Um, I'd gone to the reception area, right, to uh, just get some paperwork and I was chatting to the two receptionists and um, they kept kind of looking at me, you know, I was just like, I don't know, I remember I'm not good with names, right, so maybe I was like, maybe uh, we've spoken before, but I've clearly forgotten the names. Yes. And then one of them, after a moment, is just like, you've got a podcast? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I watch your stuff, man. And I tell everyone that there's you in the podcast. I point at you when you're walking around like, he's he, it's him, it's him, it's him. And I'm like, yo. So let's get some showers, man. Let me just put all this notoriety, man. You are absolutely smashing it. Honestly. Absolutely. You're so bringing all the to... listeners, mate. I get exactly. no listeners out of my family except my brother and my mum. Shout out to wow. mum and mum. <laughs> that's it. That's all I've got. Rep inside job Rep Rep that's it. Yeah. So shout outs to Nabila, Nabila Khan and Anita Samra. I asked them, I was like, do you want to use your full names? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. I said, what, what's Jeez. your TikTok handles? And they're like, we're one of those like kind of user... One, two, three, oh, five, user six. four, five, six, seven, yeah, two, yeah, three, yeah, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, got it. They so don't want no footprint, but but they just gave away their name the names, on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so guys, you're famous. Thank you so much for promoting it. When the patients check in, you tell them, you show them a picture, say, this doctor's on today. He's also famous. And uh, no, but looking at you... like, he, he's a bloody colonial lover, this one. Just if you want to, if you, would, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, you know, forget patient survey. If you wouldn't mind just going on YouTube and clicking subscribe, we'd really thank appreciate you, that. Thank you, no, thank no, you, thank you. We'd really imagine, appreciate that. No, oh my God, Karen. Okay. Fuck, imagine that. Are you, yeah. are you bored? Yeah, okay. Do you want to understand a bit about me? Basically, if you go onto YouTube, connect to the right. Wi-Fi in here. Yeah. Right, okay. And just yeah. press subscribe and then just watch Plus. a few clips. You'll understand me as a person. Then we can talk about it. Then I can treat you. Oh, are you having a heart attack? Don't worry. It's fine, man. Put a sword. Watch you on and that. 
listen, Indy, Indy can treat that. He knows everything. I've taught him everything. Boss, I can be your Job doctor. Yeah, no doctor problem. Him. It's okay. You know, CPR to be done. He knows, he knows it. Well, man. Easy, he knows that's it, it. That's it. Break a rib. Break a rib. Right, second shout. So, shout out to Devraj Jeet. Now, he's a good friend of my cousin, Arjun Sandhu. These are QM boys or ex-QM boys. So, the, the secondary school that I went to. Now, so my fuffer, who is the dad of Arjun, he was like, um, yeah, these guys commented and you guys didn't reply, uh, asking about some QM thing. Not the other QM one that you asked me about. And I said, Look, I'm going to be honest, right? Only up, like only until recently have I actually started replying to comments. It's, it's all yeah. to me. So I basically put all the blame on you. I was like, he didn't tell me. I'm very sorry. I'll make sure the shout out. So shout out to Devraj. Can I add uh, in a little boys. point? Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. point. You little, 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 Nikki, Nikki. So, 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 so. Stop. First things first. Stop shaking the screen by typing because you're doing this with the screen as if you're like at a rave, but, right? This is a wedding party. Okay. I'm a DJ. No, no, no. What? Well, Secondly. The party shuru hui oh, God. Disgusting. Secondly, TikTok comments sometimes don't come through. So if it's a video, it doesn't actually show a lot of the comments sometimes. I have to go back on videos periodically and then see if I've missed any out. So I'm sorry if I missed your comments. This is, you have to understand, if you guys are watching this in the future and it's gone past a certain limit of people, I oh. can't respond. Like it takes up too much of my day, so I can't do it. But for now, while Thank it's you. not that busy and it's Thank scalable, you. I can do it. I'm doing that unscalable. Shout out to Gary Ownership. I'm doing that unscalable. But in the future, it might not be possible. So enjoy it while you, while you get it, man. A dying, a dying. Um, so yeah, it's wedding week. Getting ready for the big day. I'm a little bit sore. My calf is quite tight. Haven't done this much bungalow in a long time. Uh, even did a bully yesterday. You want to hear the bully? Yes. Oh, how does it go? Um, Make my mum's day, Karen. Ready? Ready? Okay. All right. So at this point, I was making a bit of the video. My and mum's number one fan. <coughs> Shout out to my sissy. So my mum was uh, doing the stuff yesterday. She's running the kind of... um. Lady Sagid stuff, right? And I then do. they said, Oh, any more, any more, any more So I'm like, Oh, I don't want bully. Let me say it, right? Ready? Guys, you ready listening at home? Oh, Sasamiri de Lambe Lambe Bal, Sasamiri de Lambe Lambe Bal, Jura Kardi Kille, thou to dek the mache bille, thou to dek the mache bille, thou to dek the mache bille. So, translated. My mother-in-law's Jura her collection of hair is yeah. so big. It weighs a kilo. Right? It's that it's that big. Right? Yeah. Look look at how she's, you know, being silly, basically. She's just being silly. It's so it's a derogatory thing to a mother in law. It's not a very how nice. You, but, yeah, how did I how learn did you, that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this 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 is deeply ingrained for when I attended you know, I actually think Shout out to Bobby Chacha again. I think it was Bobby Chacha's wedding back in the days. So I was young, man. And you know, like when you're at the house, the people, the, the ladies are doing Gadda, uh, Bolina in one of the rooms. And I happened to just hear one of the Bolina. And that Boli, deep, deep seated. Wow. I don't know why. Killo or killo or something like killo or killo. I, I thought like. you were trying to say banana. <laughs> I thought this is oh, banana. Yeah, I thought this oh, is banana from last week again. Oh, Neji, <laughs> Neji, Neji. There you go. So I did a bully yesterday. I did some bangra. I did a bit of everything, mate. Can do it all. This is yesterday. I thought it was Saturday. No, yesterday was Sangeet night. Saturday was Jaggo night. Two separate party. Uh, and then we got the wedding and the reception. See ya, boy. Wowza, 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 Easy boy, wowza. Uh, all right, let me tell you one funny thing to round off this thing. I did. Uh, I met a guy today. He came in. This is going to do well as well because I know people love the whole Punjabi name thing we do. So, and literally, it when I see it now, I literally asked the guy. I was like, "Do you mind if I use this in my podcast?" And, he was, and I said, "Do you mind if I use your name?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah." So permission has been given for this. My friend's name, my man's name. Ready? I'll uh, spell it, and then you say what the name is. Tiga. Ready? H A M A N. So pause there. Don't say it out loud, but have that in your head. D E E. Oh, sorry. D E P. Hamandeep. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that name? No, I've heard Amandeep, not Hamandeep. 
Right. So <laughs> literally, I said the same thing as you. I was like, it's a very unique name. I've never heard of that. And he, he clearly, he's been dealing with this his whole life. He's like, <laughs> my parents, there's so many names with H. Harjinder, Harminder. And he basically had this like list and he reeled them off. He goes, but me, I'm a knockoff of Amandeep. I am <laughs> Amandeep with a H. And literally, he just vented for like a few minutes. And I was like, bro, like, just let it out, man. And I was like, I'm really sorry, man. Uh, um, he's like, ki lor si, ki lor si. But that line, I feel like a knockoff of Amandeep. And I, because the thing is, he said it, I'm Amandeep with a H. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I felt like saying that. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's exactly what you have. I was like, no, you know, you didn't. Very unique name. You are very unique. That is a very nice name, but very yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite quite funny. He found it poor quite guy, funny, man. So. He subscribed by the way today. He goes watch your podcast, and so I, you know, I did the whole trick. I was like, "Don't worry, give me a phone. I got YouTube. I find it. I click that the subscribe. Add that on that. Add that on that. Post the subscribe. Oh baby, that's <laughs> Siddhai Karan. I'm new phone to see though. Every platform, sare kete. Number you pata. India number pata. India car that dress we pata me. All of us pata me. You dek car to see jaw. Then matho dek onu. If you can get round the three rounds of security, yeah, yeah, I joined it. I'll Desert. make you a cup of tea and then kick you off the balcony, okay? <laughs> for invading my my property, okay? Privacy, you know? But we only uh, want to be on the podcast, you know? Like, we want to be on the podcast, interviewer. Is he an idiot? Huh? No. But um, this is something we're going to talk about later in the podcast, but a couple of Sims cousins. Actually, all the Nanak are from Canada. So I've been listening to a lot of... What's good, eh? A lot of Canadians. It's bands, good, eh? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Canadian eh? podcasts scrap me up, man. I, I love listening to them because they can they can insert the word right into every sentence. They're right? like, yes, mm-hmm. you know, right? Like, good, like right? They, this guy, right? He he came uh, over, right? Yeah, and then yeah. came to the machine, right? And then when hey. I was doing the machine pull down, right? It was hey. like, right? Hey, hey. That's not hey. an exaggeration. That is pretty much a clip that I've seen somewhere, man. I love all you Canadian <laughs> guys, man. You're all great people, to be fair. A lot of love. One of, uh, I just find I just find that very very funny, and we use like a lot, so that's our version. But you guys use like. That's right. true. That's so, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like and like like yeah, we do say like a lot. It's true. One of uh, Sim's cousins again, one of the Anakin just ride, yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, there's here you go. He was like, there you go. Like, he landed at uh, Bami Airport, picked up the Gurdjieff, from there. He's driving. He goes, man. He goes, I hate the M6, man. He goes, that easy sort of that sort of man. He really hate it. And then his sister was telling me that obviously roundabouts on a, you don't have roundabouts, do you, in Canada? So, they don't. <laughs> right? It's really, really, really like rare. If if there are any, I don't know if there are any. Uh, and it, so she was saying, because his sister, that uh, when they were going around the roundabout, <laughs> they were just stopping and just looking like, actually physically stopping the goodie, like a tijama. And you know, the people are warning us. <laughs> oh my God, you're not supposed but to then, do that. I'm surprised he was yeah, lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I said to her, and I was like, when I went to Canada, one thing I didn't know is you can turn um, right left on the red, red light. light. Oh, left, sorry. No, right. You turn the right side of the road, it's just right oh, on sorry, the red light. Oh, sorry, it's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I'm there. People are horning. I'm like, can you see the light, mate? It's a red light for a reason. I'm there like giving it 10. And then someone tells me and I'm like, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> okay. So that's me, bro. So I'm a little bit tired. How are you? Respect, man. You got a lot of energy today. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was fun. When, that when was do fun. I not have energy? Like, you know, people ask, someone asked me the other day, what is your role in the podcast? I said, I am the hyper man. Yeah, you are. Uh, Indy is the brains, right? Yeah. My yeah. job is to bring funny content and just deliver. Like, I have to turn up and do, I have to be doc. Hey, guys, Dr. Okay. Jazz here. But I have to do it like in a very authentic way. Exactly. Exactly. Right? So that's what I do, baby. That's exactly what you do. I think that's a very, very accurate I, description yeah. that you have it's provided It's taken me a hundred episodes to realize my role within the podcast, but I know my role now. So I think you've known your role for a while. Let's, yeah, let's but it's conscious it. now. It's conscious. Like I know it. It's like conscious, someone asks me a question, thought. I tell them, I'm like, him and I come, man. That's uh, it. Mm, and I my agree. other role is when we re- record live in person, I create yes. the folder for that episode. My card. Yes, you do. My yes, card. you do. My and you provide, you provide bricks and mortar for us to record within. Mavi Studios. Yeah, baby. Thank you. That's it. Glad Shindy does, does a lot of that, but you know, thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, she does all the staging and everything. Uh, and, uh, it is her bedroom, so, you know. It is her bedroom, yes, 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 yes. <sighs> okay, well, I had a weekend with Sanjay's family. Um, I saw her nephews. One of them yeah. stayed over at the flat, which was cute. Uh-huh. Just going to touch on a couple things that happened. So, married okay. at first sight, we have 
spoken about quite in depth on this podcast a couple of weeks ago. And I turned to his mum. So we're all sitting at the dining table at Sandra's sister's talking. Uh-huh. All the kids are there talking. Uh-huh. And I turn to her sister and I say, where are you in maths? And the 10 year old says, I'm on decimals. And Sanj thought it was the funniest shit in the world because he thought I was talking to him, but I was talking to his mum and you called it married at first sight, which is maths for short. Oh, so I was looking at his right, mum, right, but right, he right, thought right, I okay. was addressing him. Good so answer. he said decimals. Good answer. And I thought, ah, oh, very good answer. But I was like, very yeah, I can, I can see that. I know I didn't compute that in my head. Yeah. Did, did you make conversation with him then? Yeah, of course I did. I spoke to him the whole time I was there. And I, and no, I, I mean, really asked I mean, him at school, and he said, "Oh, I'm learning decimals." I said, "Yeah, yeah." But cool. after that decimal comment, did you did you ignore him? Did you move on to your Australia thing, or did you carry on the decimal conversation? I think we laughed because I'd already done the decimal conversation earlier on. You laughed at a child. I mean, that's just that is the beginnings of, you know, that's not good indeed. That's not what you do. Man. I didn't laugh, laugh at a child. I so laughed at how I laughed at my blunder for not being specific. My blood. That's the difference. Good, good, good. Be specific. You know, I say that to you a lot. Thank you. Be Kenny specific actually. Be specific yeah. with your intention, D. Yes, go on, Kenny. What? Kenny riles me about this all the time. Like, literally. Because I'll ask him something. No, he'll ask me something. I was like, what specifically do you want? So now he'll just r- r- drop it randomly. <laughs> or he'll be talking to Mehel, and then I'll be there, and he'll be like, be specific. Be specific. What is it that you want? I'm like, yeah, exactly, man. If you're specific, then you know exactly what you want. You know, it's a good question. Improve the quality of your question. Exactly. Improve the quality of your question. Wow, wow. You don't ask for much, do you? If you have a quality question, you get a quality? Answer. Jawab. Ah, oh, exactly. Quality jalebi. Okay. Ah, oh, to you. Why jalebi? I don't know. I was thinking jawab and jalebi was in my head. <laughs> I was like, no, the word is not jalebi, it's jawab. It's a jawab. It's not jalab. Yes. Jalab is sock. We don't want a quality sock. Yes. Although that also is very important. You don't. Very underrated. Men listening to this podcast, right? You want to up your style game, improve your sock game. Okay. Quality jalaba socks, well, goes a long way. And when people look at your outfit, because this, this is where people let go, man. They, they, you might have the good suit and all the rest, right? But when they look down at you, if you got those shitty little socks on, they're like, I'll take that. That and obviously, you know, quality shoes, but sock. And remember, you're only going to have a bit of the sock showing unless, you know, yeah, you, but in the you're Godwara. going to Godora. Godora, exactly, Godwara. right? You've got to have elite socks in the Godora. Elite socks, right? Uh, I'd recommend rib socks. Those those are a very good quality sock. I want the toe socks in the Godora, but that's me. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the shoe you're wearing. It depends on the shoe you're wearing, so that's fine. Uh, if I'm wearing loafers, I'll go with that. If I'm not wearing a non-loafer shoe, then I'll go with the other one. And if you wait, really want to like... You wear toe socks? Let's just clarify what you mean by those. Those are the yeah, socks where... Yeah, let's clarify what you mean yeah. by that. Are you on I'm about on invisible about... socks? No, no, I'm on about socks. When you're wearing a loafer, it doesn't look like you're not wearing a sock. Those are called invisible socks. Right. What are you on about? The one with the little toes that, like, each toe. Oh, that. Oh, that weird shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, sock game. Right? And if you really want to improve the sock game, like, you want to go to the level above that, so you've got good quality socks, you have sock suspenders to keep your socks up. Like American Policeman News, like you see it in Brooklyn Nine Nine. Er, er. That's like the ultimate level of. Uh, well, they game. got their wife beater on. Yep, yep. And they got the holsters on. Uh, they've got the the, the 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 slacks going down to the legs and pulling up the. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. That's it. Okay. Always so found that surprising. Surprising. Very, very interesting. Like in a gangster film. What up, gangsters? Super bad. What up, gangsters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McLovin. Such a great film. What I'm trying to show you that to Sanj and she didn't she didn't get it. She said, I don't understand the film. And because I thought this look, is such a great film. But the guy thing, we were in school at the time when it came out, right? We oh, were yeah, so, 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 much so label. So label. Remember the Hey Mindy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a funny McLovin? Thing. Yeah. McLovin? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> what? It was either that or Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think Muhammad was okay? <laughs> it's one of the oh, most common well. names in the world, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> what up, gangsters? I'm gonna watch that film again, man. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna Next have to time I'm feeling upset, I'm gonna put that film on. It's too funny. People yeah, actually yeah. quote that scene of him losing, of Jonah Hill losing his shit at the guy who plays McLovin as as showing, I think these guys no, don't like each no. other in real life. That's why there was no, so no. much chippiness. People have looked no, into no. it that much because he aced it that well. I agree. I, I can agree with that. Yeah. 
anyway, to come back on the topic, sorry. My last one is uh, I learned how to do a three by three Rubik's Cube because oh, I had God. the two by two. And Are I we didn't still learn the talking three. about the Rubik's Cube? I didn't learn about the three. I had the three, but I didn't want to start that problem in it. So now I've learned it. I learned it yesterday because Sandra's Who nephew came and screwed it up cares, and gave it to me. Man. Me, I care. Stop going on. We did a whole segment on Rubik's Cube. You want to you go on about it again? I'm proud. I'm pr- no, no, no. I know how to do a three by three. It's different. I'm very happy. It took me one day. I'm very happy. The last one okay. took me two weeks. My learning curve is, you know, <laughs> steepened. <laughs> right? <laughs> steepened, <laughs> steepened. That's it. I got it. I got it in a day. <laughs> With the help of YouTube, but yeah, it's great. I love it. Oh, and I sit there and my mix it geography up degree. I know all the colors. Menu can rainbow the color. Yeah, exactly. It's all algorithms, my friend. Oh, my dissertation was you, you, uh, no, Ubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube with this here. Ubik's Cube? Ubik's Cube. Oh, YouTube, I thought it was YouTube, the Rubik's Cube. Ubik's Cube. Jesus. Ubik's Cube. Yes, yes. Well so, done, yeah. Andy. Well done. Very proud of it. Thank you. Thank you. It only took Sandy's nephew to mess it up and say, do it. And I thought, okay, I'll do it. Challenge accepted. The voice challenge accepts. Then he kept on messing up. I said, okay, I'll do it. Then he did it again. I said, you know what? I'm tired now. I don't want to do it again. Oh, oh, oh. he got he got into his skin. Man, you can't hold it. Yeah, man, you can't hold it. It's not fun but anymore. Tere, but you're decimal. Wrong nephew. That's the youngest right. one. Right, right, right. Okay, fair or enough. Or the middle one. Enough, but yeah. Okay, okay. Fair play. So there we go. That was Andy. me. I didn't have anything else for what's happening. I was relying on you this week and you came through with the goods. Bro, we always bring the hype chat so there we go thank you thank you okay. guys for listening check you guys next week please do drop us a message a like a comment a subscribe a uh, nice little follow on Instagram and TikTok would be fantastic highly appreciate it we'll catch you guys next week while Goran's sitting there shaking away in the background well, with his yet red lorry yellow lorry lorry. Ah, don't use that at, at the next place you go to please don't Drop Please that don't. bully, man. Be like, yeah, I learned an Indian doctor show, man. Those even thonu Punjabis, sakhanaya, thonu bolliya, sakhanaya, thonu animal the name sakhanaya, new animal for this week. Um, Jamgadar, bat. Jamgadar banda. Indi is man, Batman. Batman. No, you said remember yesterday with Sanju like boy. <laughs> Did I say boy? Oh yeah, it yeah. Jamgadar was... munda or something. <laughs> By the way, can we just touch on a, on a small topic? Why did you call me in London for what rap you get at a place that's 10 minutes down the road to your house? Because you always order. <laughs> Do you know, you know what it was? It's like, again, systems and processes. I'm like, I can figure this out and take time. I can just go to the source. Right. I ring the you, source. You came to the source and we had a 10 minute conversation. In that time, you could have figured it out. Yeah, no, but that was that was all You fine. know that, that when fine. you call me, sometimes there are strings attached. Sometimes it's like, actually, no, now no, you're here. No, 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 but that was fine. If, if I didn't want to talk to you, I'd just put the phone down. But I was happy to indulge. No, you wouldn't. You would have put the phone down. Sanj, okay, Sanj was there. She called me Jasper. I was like, okay. <laughs> you, have my, you have my attention now. There are only very few people that can call me Jasper. And I'm like, oh, that, that's, that's nice. I like Anyone that. Anyone can call you Jasper, mate. Nay. Nee, Getting nee, well nee. happy. Nee. You have just to say the certain... See, it's not that, is it? Shout out to Jasper. Just though. breathe now. That's Minority it. mindset. Shout out to him, yeah. Just breathe. Just breathe. There you go. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, people. Have a nice week. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Check out the rest of our episodes here and don't forget to subscribe here. We'll see you guys on the next one.